Drama unfolded at a governor's boardroom meeting with Environment Cabinet Secretary Professor Judy Wahungu in Bundanyi after two members of parliament walked out in protest. The two, Bundanyi Member of Parliament Thomas Modegu and Avoy Member of Parliament Jones Munolwa were apparently aggravated by ongoing human wildlife conflict that has left many locals and lasting wounds inflicted by wildlife. They had had enough after years of asking the government to act on the human wildlife conflict at the coast to no avail. These leaders decided to demonstrate just what they thought of the government's handling of what seems to be a very delicate matter. The meeting with Cabinet Secretary Professor Judy Wahungu fell apart as two MPs, Undani MP Thomas Mwandegu and Voi MP Jones Mlolwa and MCAs in attendance walked out. Why? Long unresolved issues that set locals against wildlife. The CS's agenda was environmental conservation, but these leaders were not letting her off easy. They wanted to know what the government was doing for their people. A people living in abject poverty and literally nursing wounds inflicted by wild animals they have been protecting for many years. People are already poor. What we have done is that we have been working on the ground. 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 We are also going with our MPs. So, we have been working on the ground. We have been working on the ground. Wanaribu mahindi na kuna siku nasikia mkulima analipwa sababu ya tumbili sababu ya, ya wanyama wapori ambao wanasababisha hasara kubwa itakuwa kila saa ni njaa ni njaa njaa hapo ni kwa sababu forest wakati wa forest wenyewe hizo babuz naishi kwa According to Mwadegu, the government has been reluctant in solving the human wildlife conflict in Taita Taveta, ignoring calls to fence the entire Tsavo National Park and drive back all elephants from the community land and into the park. It is upside down. We should have started with where it is pinching most. Miti tunaweza kwa dress baadaye sasa tumemaliza mambo ya wanyama ambao wanatumbua watu wetu. Hii water tower ya Bundanyi haijaliwa na watu wa Bundanyi. Haijaliwa na mtaita, imeliwa na watu wengine. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru kuanzia sasa hizo forest 44 tutakuwa tunazimanage sisi wenyewe tutalinda miti yetu na water tower yetu. The MP adds he cannot continue meeting with the CS and PS over conservation without addressing the issue of human wildlife conflict. Chicks Ngado, KTN News, Nairobi. Yeah.